Today's video describes how leaves work. It is part of the ongoing topic of plants, where I visualize and describe different properties of plants. This video is very suitable for the revision of biology, either a UK GCSE or American high school diploma or international equivalent. Plants, like all multicellular organisms, are comprised of cells. These cells are organized into tissues which then come together to form organs. Yep, even a plant has organs. These are just a combination of tissues which form some function. In this case, we focus on the leaf and dissect its structure and function. If we take a cross section of a plant leaf, we can see that the different tissues are organized as layers. The first layer is the waxy cuticle. The cuticle gives the leaf its waxy sensation, a feature which is designed to limit water loss from the top of the leaf. Below the cuticle is the upper epidermis. This layer has a structural role for the leaf and is also transparent, allowing light to penetrate the leaf down to the lower layers. Below the cuticle is the palisade layer comprising of the palisade cells. The palisade cells contain many chloroplasts, which are packed with the protein chlorophyll, the pigment which gives leaves their green color. As we'll see later, the chloroplasts are responsible for generating the food and energy which the plant needs to survive. The spongy mesophyll layer is under the palisade layer and is deliberately less dense as it is optimized for the free movement of gases which are vital for the functioning of the leaf. Below the mesophyll layer is the lower epidermis. This comprises of structural epidermal cells. Interspersing the epidermal cells are the stomata. These are small gaps or spaces within the epidermis, known individually as stoma. These structures allow air to pass in and out of the leaf. The stoma are flanked by specialized cells known as guard cells, which limit the exchange of air at various times. Frequent structures which run through the leaf are the vas vascular bundles. These structures represent the superhighway of the leaf and help the plant move nutrients and water and glucose around. Furthermore, due to their rigid structure, they provide robust support to the leaf as, as they wrap across it from end to end. Here we show you a closer look at a palisade cell. Plant cells have similarities with other cell types, for example mammalian cells. They have a nucleus, a cytoplasm and a cell membrane, but also have some distinct structures. Plant cells have a cell wall which helps keep the plant rigid and also protects the cells physically. Furthermore, they have a vacuole, which is a large storage place for the cell. In the vacuole, cells will retain a supply of salts and nutrients, which the plant will need to grow and thrive. The chloroplasts are very special, and in the palisade cells, as mentioned, there are many chloroplasts. The chloroplasts generate food and energy from, from the for the plant in the presence of sunlight and also require the gas carbon dioxide and also water. The palisade cells are long and are aligned with the leaf so as to maximize the absorption, absorption of light as it passes through the cells. These specializations make the leaves very effective generators of energy for the plant which is their primary function as an organ. Above it's the chemical reaction which underpins photosynthesis. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplasts and is cat catalyzed by the protein chlorophyll, the green pigment of the plant. Photosynthesis requires carbon dioxide, CO2, water, H2O, and is also dependent on the presence of photons from sunlight and also for there to be warmth. When all these ingredients are present, photosynthesis will create glucose and also oxygen. The glucose will be used by the plant as food and the oxygen, 
a byproduct will be released from the plant. The rate of photosynthesis is very much dependent on the abundance of all the necessary ingredients and conditions, i.e. sunlight, warmth and carbon dioxide. In the absence of one of these, the rate of photosynthesis will decline, whereas in the abundance of each of these, photosynthesis will occur at a fast rate. As mentioned, the plant has various specialisations which allow air to move through the structure of the leaf. Air is important as it contains CO2 which the plants need for efficient photosynthesis. As stated, photosynthesis will proceed more readily when sunlight is abundant. During the day and also when the amb ambient temperature is high. During this time, air is allowed to pass in and out of the cell, bringing carbon dioxide and carrying away the oxygen. When photosynthesis is not happening, for example when it is dark, the plant stomata, the small gaps in the ep lower epidermis, will close. This happens due to a change in shape of the guard cells, which will expand to close the gaps. This limits the entry of air, and therefore of carbon dioxide, which is not at this time needed. But, more importantly, it also reduces the loss of water from the plant, which escapes along with the movement of gases out of the cell. Through this mechanism, the plant can effectively conserve resources until the sun returns. Now, when the sun returns, the stomata again are opened and the plant can perform photosynthesis at a high rate. And so again, we'll want to have as much CO2 as possible, even if losing more water during this time. So, in summary, leaves are very important organs of a plant. They comprise of many layers, each with a specialist function. Leaves are designed to perform photosynthesis very efficiently, utilising as much sunlight as possible. The leaves also will dynamically adapt to changes in environment to conserve resources. Without leaves, the world would quickly run out of oxygen, so they are very important for the plants and also for us, as we breathe oxygen. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like and subscribe it, and also please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link is below. If you have any suggestions for future videos or any comments, then please leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much.